Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, a lot to get through, especially in the uh, Friday Friday night time frame into early Saturday morning. Let's first uh, start with today, which was, I mean, just incredible for the last day of February. Topped out at 58 degrees. It's pretty nice out there right now. These are pictures in Newport under partly cloudy skies. Uh, heading out this evening, there'll be a stray shower, a passing light rain shower. Don't look for widespread rain or any kind of stormy weather tonight, but a shower later on this evening can't be ruled out. Temps now are in the low 50s inland and cooler along the shore, mid and upper 40s, including 45 in Newport. 48 and westerly. You see a couple of isolated showers off to our west. So a couple of these passing through uh, this evening and during the overnight hours. But the developing storm, the pieces of the puzzle coming together in one is an area of moisture across the south. This is going to translate into a developing nor'easter off our coastline, a slow moving storm that'll have really multiple impacts uh, in terms of rain, wind, uh, big waves, coastal flooding. So let's first set the stage. Again, a couple of showers this evening. There are no problems tomorrow morning. Part sunny or cool dry start at 45 and then during the afternoon clouds on the increase but essentially dry we've got uh, one more uh, you know relatively uh, well pretty mild day coming up once again these temperatures are running well above average it's later tomorrow night the rain will start so here's the setup developing storm late Thursday night and it really intensifies off our coastline uh, by late Thursday night, Friday, Friday night into early Saturday. A majority of it is a wind-driven heavy cold rain, but it's not too far to the north and west where it's cold enough to snow. And that's the real wild card in this forecast right now. So whether or not this switches over to a period of wet snow later on Friday. So that's the one thing I would check back with uh, tonight and tomorrow as far as whether the rain switches over to snow. I think it does. Uh, the question is whether or not it's something that's uh, significant as far as accumulation but we'll take one thing at a time here. Get in real close. We're going to talk about the, the coastal impacts. Very strong wind, large waves, and coastal flooding. Now, the area shaded in yellow, this, this includes from New Bedford, Narragansett Bay, and the Rhode Island coastline. Any kind of flooding, uh, fortunately, would be minor. That's not to say that the coastline will not be stormy along the Rhode Island coast. It will be very stormy. But by far the worst is East Coastal Massachusetts. And when we say East Coastal Mass, we're referring to Boston, uh, Gloucester, uh, Plymouth, Situate, the Outer Cape, and the islands. The areas in red, major impacts. And, you know, very concerned about this thin strip of red right in here for the potential for significant uh, flooding uh, due to uh, storm surge or coastal flooding to the point where there could actually be damage to houses out here. This is a very serious situation. And again, it's confined to East Coastal Mass. So if you're not looking at your TV set right now, come take a look because this is what we're referring to from Boston right in this area, the, uh, the Outer Cape and the islands. The Rhode Island coastline is very stormy, uh, but the flooding potential would be minor due to wind um, trajectory. So the coastal flood watch remains in effect for the areas in red and more than likely this will get upgraded to a, a flood warning. So in a nutshell, the impacts very confident about heavy rain and strong wind, moderate risk of flooding in terms of rain, meaning we're going to watch the rivers and streams and some street flooding. And then this is the real wild card. I, get, I do anticipate a switch to some wet snow, but whether or not it's something significant remains to be seen. The best chance for any kind of a switch over to wet snow would be in the higher elevations uh, later on Friday evening. All right, seven-day future cast. You know, most of your Thursday, especially during the daytime, is okay. Late Thursday night, the rain and wind increasing, and there's your stormy conditions for Friday into at least early Saturday morning, drying out Saturday afternoon and cool and dry uh, on Sunday. So you know the drill here. Check back with us for updates and on our blogs at WPRI.com. Confident about the rain, the wind, and the coastal impacts. The wild card is the whether or not we switch over to wet snow and how significant that is. All right. Tony, thanks. We have more.